Hey guys, in this video today I'm going to show you how to get your Fnatic wheel working with 4s and 6 Apex with force feedback and shifter. So what you need to do, I found I can, if I start the wheel up, now if you put it in PC mode, just like that. If you try and put it in PS3 mode from the PC mode, it just doesn't work. I found if you turn the wheel on, and then just press the PS3 mode buttons straight away and just hold them down. See the little blue light there? That means it's in PS3 mode. And the Fnatic driver will recognize it as a G25. Now I just tested this and it worked straight away on Forza Apex with the and it automatically detected it as a G25 in game. So you can do that way. If it doesn't work, the other way to do it is to uninstall your Fnatic driver. So you go to your control panel, uninstall a program. Then you want to find Fnatic Wheel, which is just there. Right click, uninstall. Yes. Yes. And then what you want to do is install the Logitech driver, which is this guy here. I downloaded this just before from the, um, the Logitech support website. It's just the Windows 10 Logitech gaming driver. So we install this. Um, Next, alright, so this is where we connect the controller. So we turn the wheel back on, so you want to go to PC mode first, then it's in PC mode, and then we press the PS3 buttons again. Voila. Then we go next. Then basically all, all you have to do is every time you want to use the wheel on the PC, because you should still be able to use it on all the other sims, you'll just have to change your button configurations. The only downside is if you're using a handbrake, like I do on my club saw pedals, then the handbrake's not going to work anymore. Um, so we go next, and then obviously you can test all your forces. Which, it all obviously works. So we go next. Okay, finish. And that's all done. And then all you gotta do when you turn your wheel on is just put it in PC mode and then you'll be able to put it straight to PS3 mode and it'll be recognized. So we go PC first, and then PS3, done. And then if we fire up Apex. And it'll just work straight away. You, sh you can change your obviously your settings in game and all that sort of stuff. But your shifter will work, um, accelerator, brake, and clutch will all work. The only thing I did notice is if you happen to move your mouse while driving, it'll basically ignore the wheel input and it'll just go back to like a neutral position. So if you're turning a corner and bump the mouse, the the wheel will actually like in game will just straighten up until the mouse stops moving then it'll go back to the input you were at so if you're going to be using a setup like mine where the desk can move quite a lot from the force feedback it might pay to just flip your mouse upside down or move it off the desk so it doesn't interfere with your, your steering inputs uh, so if we just go to a quick uh, where is the mouse, it is free play I've tested this out just briefly and is it better than on the Xbox? Yeah, I'd say it's marginally better. You do get 
a few more options you can play with, like your steering damper, your steering spring strength. Um, you can change your sensitivity, but I haven't really tested any of that. But for the majority of what I like to do on Forza, it still needs a lot of work. The force feedback still doesn't stay connected with the car all the time. The self-aligning torque doesn't work like it really should. Um, it still has that same problem where like high angle transitions the wheel will just completely lose force and just won't turn at all so for drifting that makes it really hard as you can see there it's all working we've got neutral gear which means the shift is working and yeah just quickly whoops You can see the force feedbacks all working. Um, but yeah, that's how you get your Fnatic wheel to work on Forza 6 Apex with force feedback. And this should work with virtually every Fnatic wheel. As long as it's got a PS3 mode, it'll, it should work, no worries at all. I hope you found this video useful and see you in the next one.